wholesale a house in 30 days or less. This is Ty, aka The Flip Man. Here are the five steps on just how to do that. This is from a previous flipping that I did. I trimmed down the fat straight to the meat and potatoes of it. So you get the information without all the, I guess, what I call uh, house cleaning with all the other stuff that goes into my flipping arts. So I get straight down to the meats and, uh, meats and potatoes of it. Uh, the five steps, wholesale a house in 30 days or less. Before I get into that, just hold on, hold on. Make sure uh, if you're interested in my live Flippinars, go to Flippinars.com. I'm going to try uh, this week as the date of this video to incorporate Facebook Live with this also. You'll probably see a promotion of me doing that or whatever. But So go to Flippinars.com. Be more information there where you can access it through Facebook and or through the Flippinar platform that I normally use, which is any meeting. Still have this property. Uh, if you want to make $9,500, a finder's fee, need a buyer for it. Go to triplenetcash.com. You see the website address here at the bottom. This family dollars in the southeastern part of the country, triplenetcash.com. Whether you know of me or not, 200 plus videos on my YouTube channel on how to wholesale houses. Anyone can take advantage of those. Whether you're just getting into it, you never heard of me. You won't find a channel out there specifically uh, focused on that particular topic, everything you need to know. Please subscribe to my channel, turn on the notifications uh, so you can get uh, updates on new videos and when I go live on YouTube also. If you want a free copy of the contract that I've used for the last 14 years to wholesale houses and still doing it, text the word contract to 313131. Not me, text 313131. That's the actual number, no area code needed. Text the word contract to 313131. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram, flipman.net. Follow me on Twitter, the flipman. Again, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notifications. Some people ask for it, I deliver. If you want me to come to your city and train you personally, I'll do it. Just hit me up. You see my phone number here. You can call or text me. I answer the phone. No one else. I text you back. No one else. If you're interested in commercial real estate, you can simply go to flipthisbuilding.com. Wholesale commercial, just like your wholesale houses. Difference is low competition. Uh, you can do it virtually from your laptop or PC. You have a sea of opportunity because you can target the entire country. That's your playground. No cash or credit needed. Big fat paydays. Flipthisbuilding.com. PrivateMoneyList.net. The name speaks for itself. If you're interested in or you need or have a, a buyer or client that needs private money, 400 private money lenders, more being added, go to the site. Submit your phone number. Next page, Keith Yackett will explain exactly what you're getting. Oh, 40,000 40, cash buyers list is included at no additional cost. You need proof of fund. If you're going to deal with brokers or real estate agents, real estate brokers, you need proof of fund. That's the only way they're going to take you serious. Realpof.com. That's realpof.com. I use this on a day-to-day -day basis to get high six-figure, low seven-figure deals accepted. Realpof.com. Same thing. Go submit your phone number. Next page. Keith will explain exactly what you're getting. So on to this particular Short version of a flippinar, wholesale a house in 30 days or less. I'll see you on the flip side. Everybody, one of the common questions that I'll get when someone's trying to see if they want to uh, sign up for my courses and coaching is that how long does it take your students to do deals? If you, if you just think, and I try to put it to people where they can think about it. In order, see, everything would have to be even between you, me, is it, we'd all have to be able to start out in the same car, the same engine, same your everything to have an even chance to win a race. Then it just basically boils down to your driving. But most people are not going to start out with the same drive, the same resources to put into it, the same time, the same understanding, the same market, 
So all those things will factor in whether someone is, is more successful than the other person or how fast one person does a deal over another. Some of it's just luck. See, I just feel like it was just luck with me, uh, really, in reality. Um, but uh, but I've had students to do it faster than I have, and I had students to take a couple of years to do it. And so it, it, it just depends, man. It just the stuff works. It's just you have to just apply the basics and the hardest deal is going to probably be your first deal for most people because number one you want to see that it's that is real okay so uh once you do that then you can pour more time more energy more thought obviously a little bit more money you'll have that money from the first deal to pour into marketing because i'm a big believer in that so but i want to go ahead and uh, as i said uh i'm just going to give you what it really takes to do a deal in 30 days now some of you all may not have the resources to do this, but it's not in a lot of money in reality. And when someone calls me or something, and I don't know everybody's situation, I understand some people may not be able to get out and get a second income or whatever, but I had some young people call me and say, hey, you know, I'm 19 or 20 or 21, and I don't have the money. What, what, what are you doing? What, 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 what's preventing you from uh, working at Little Caesars, uh, working in the mall, or working this place, uh, you know, two or three jobs? We're only talking about a few hundred dollars here to get your marketing going. Then there's a lot of free things you can do also, but I, I, I don't recommend those a lot because most people don't have the patience or persistency to do those. So to take that, and it can be very frustrating. It's already a frustrating business because business is frustrating in general. But uh, the reason I stress marketing so heavily because I'm one of those people that couldn't do it where if I had to just sit there and just bang out phone calls or bang out emails on a daily daily basis. I do a little of it, but I don't do enough of it because I it's tedious and it takes a lot of patience and persistency, but it's free and it can turn into a huge payday. So it's worth it. You know, I, you know, I know, I know what to do. It is what I choose to do that part of it. And I'd rather spend some money and get the phone ringing and then I can control when and where, um, when and where I, it, it goes. So, um, so let's get into number one here. All right. So that obviously you have to have a certain amount of, uh, of knowledge um, and understanding of the process. You got to do that. It's just going back to me, myself, I had um, uh, information over. I went from not knowing anything about it to just information overload. Uh, so. That, I understand that. So you can take a couple approaches here or a combination of it. You can go with free training and or research um, as a combination if you don't have the resources. Now, obviously, with my 200 plus videos on YouTube, I've made a lot of people a lot of money for free uh, just with that information that I've never talked to. Uh, I get text messages, sometimes calls all the time just what a thank you hey you know this is my first deal i made x number of dollars on it you know that's the free training <laughs> the flip side of that is that people go through that free training but still want me to coach them you know it's not going to work that way i you know I'm, I, I don't really say that a lot or whatever I, I know i hope that people can take uh understand that you know but a lot of i guess make people take advantage of it and they may not realize it but the free the, the free videos can will tell you everything you want. But if you get into me actually trying to walk you through a deal, I'll answer a couple of questions about my coaching or, or whatever, you know, stuff. But, you know, actually asking me about a deal or something, then we're getting outside of the boundaries of, you know, what I offer free versus what I offer paid because now you're getting into my time, which I think it does have some some level of value. So going with the paid training, whether it's through me or whoever, uh, obviously with the paid training, you just want to make sure, uh, well, everybody's different. Again, some people need a coach, some don't. Uh, you just make sure if you don't need a coach that the information is thorough and that's going to be whatever you, whatever you decide to pay for, it, that you're not going to have to pay additional money for, the, uh, for additional information. You won't need to make sure that you're getting all of the information that's needed to do a deal. Now, as far as with the coaching, uh, you know, you may hear a guy's name advertised on the radio or TV, but many of you all know that guy's not even at the seminar. 
you know, and you're dealing with guys that probably have never done a deal before. They just great sales and pitch people. And so then you sign up for the coaching and you're still not dealing with someone. You're dealing with a call center. Then you're limited, maybe emails, maybe maybe a call or two. So if as long as you know what you're paying for, you know, if you have understanding, you're okay with that, then roll with it. You know, it just know the flip man has a better option than that. You know what I'm saying? And as time goes on, you know, as I get deeper in this commercial, I'm not sure if I'll ever stop training because I can meet a lot of great people that can help me do things that I uh, I'm not, uh, don't want to do or even capable of doing, uh, but um, supply and demand, the cost of things will just go up based on the time that I have to put in it and, and so on. But um, um, it's reaching the point where when I originally started, why I wanted to do it differently than what I've seen others do is that I can use it to, to do commercial deals and do them in places that I'm not, you know, because I have, can have boots on the ground, you know, that's, that's, that's it. That's, that's the big bar world. So we'll go ahead. So you understand knowledge and understand the process. You know, you have to know what you have some general understanding about the process to get started. You don't have to know everything. That's like a lot of people feel like they have to know everything. The most important thing you need to know initially for me is knowing what's the deal and what's not a deal and get that phone ringing. Everything else will fall in if you stumble into it, it'll fall in place. So, and that's what we're talking about here. Go hard on marketing or cold contacts. That's when the clock starts. And what I mean by that, when I say in 30 days or less, your clock really doesn't start after you are, you're not. The clock starts when you get a certain point within your marketing. Now, you can buy banded signs or you can set up your direct mail to go, but until you actually get some of that in motion, that's when the clock actually starts as for the 30 days. Now, what I would say ideally, and, and this can happen, you can do, you can, once you get um, about uh, 100 signs on the street, you can do that in a day or you can do it in two days. That may take you a month to do it. But that's really when the, when the signs, when the clock will start with signs. When you get 100 signs out there, probably within a week's time, it would be ideal. Uh, within two or three days would really be ideal. That, but but again, it's still they still have to stay up. They they have to stay up. So I when my students order signs, I, I encourage them to call me and most times before they start putting them out, because you don't want to go crazy with them. Because the worst thing you want to happen is you put out a hundred signs in a week and they're down in that same week. You know, that's that's wasted money. So it, it it's a little testing that goes along with it. Now, if you're in an area where there are a lot of uh, banded signs that dominate the area, a lot of times you can go ahead and, 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 and go wild with it or whatever. So what I did is I included, and I looked this up uh, from the last time that I checked with Curtis, and you don't have to deal directly with dirt cheap signs, but that's a measuring stick as far as cost. Like one-sided uh, signs, I mean, one-sided, one color, nine by 24 signs. Then that's the size that I recommend. It costs about two hundred dollars. Whereas I think he said one ninety shipping, but we'll just say two hundred dollars for two hundred signs. Um, as far as your direct mail, to do about two hundred direct mail pieces, uh, the way I do it, uh, which is more expensive to send them out per piece, is going to cost you about five hundred dollars with setup. And what I mean by that is buying the mailers. Those are the nine and a half, twelve by half, twelve and a half. Uh, mailers that look like um, the, the the same size that FedEx and UPS use, and that same cardboard is called uh, paperboard mailers. Um, I get them from envelopes envelopes dot com. Uh, ordering those labels and sometimes cartridges for your printer. Now, if you don't have a printer or a laptop or something like that, then that five hundred dollars is going to go up, obviously. But assuming that you already have a printer and a laptop, a lap, laptop or a PC, you just need to um to just to get more uh uh ink for your uh, for your printer and as i said labels and then obviously the mailers and then the posters so you should be able to do 200 of those so 200 dollars and a hundred you can get a hundred banded signs for like 120 bucks one color now i do two color but you don't have to do two color just i like to stand out from what everyone else is doing so uh so the first the second thing you have to do you got to go hard on the marketing i talk about that a lot because that simplifies this business um, I, I'll have a, a student that I haven't talked to 
and months and they'll be like, you know, what can I do about it? My first question is always going to be, and, 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 they, and if you're on this call, you know, uh, and my first question is going to be, what are you doing to get your phone ringing? Well, I hadn't done this or I've only done this one time. You know, you, you may order, and I've done, I've done this, and, 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 it, and now it happened for me because of the mistake that I, I made as far as um, uh, what I put on the signs. And that's why I always encourage students to, to text me over uh, the proof of the signs before they okay the order, whoever they order them from. Is because I know you want to say a lot. You want to be different than everybody else. Blah blah blah. You want to be different. Do two color. But as far as the message, you don't have that much room to work with. You have to realize people are viewing the information from a distance when they're in traffic and they're actually not looking for your information. So the larger the text, the more visible it's going to be. The more text you don't have on there, the smaller the text it has to be because it has to make room for the phone number, I buy houses and whatever else you wanted to say. So, um, I, but I, I said, I do two color, I buy houses, phone number, or we buy houses, phone number, that's it. Nine by 24, I may have the I buy houses in red and the phone number in blue or something of that, something of that combination, but you know, they they stand out uh, more than, you know, the norm. And I, now I'm seeing everybody else around here doing it, but whatever. <laughs> so let's get the number. So we know marketing is important. So, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't, uh, we had a, another part to marketing. Uh, cold contacts, this is the free, this is the free option of it. So cold contacts, such as Zillow, and, and what I mean by that is reaching out to landlords or even for sale by owner, Fizbo's. Uh, so you can do that through Zillow, Craigslist, you know, all the normal sites or whatever. And And, and what you're doing is, you're just playing the numbers game. Even when you're putting out banded signs or doing direct mail, you're just playing the 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 the, uh, the numbers game. So if you're actually picking up the phone or you're sending emails, you're still just playing the actual actual numbers game. And, and what that simply means is is that obviously you're going to be contacting enough people, you're going to run into a deal. Um, and the the way I tell people they should do it, or students. Is that just sell us a, a, a conservative, reasonable number and say, hey, I'm going to talk to five landlords per day, whether it's on a five day cycle or a seven day cycle per week. And before you know it, you've talked to over 100 people in the course of a month. You know, deals come from that. Deals come from that. And when I say contact them, you know, obviously they're trying to rent the property, but you're looking for tired landlords, people that are tired of the business, but they still are in it but they really would like to liquidate some of their properties. And so you're looking for motivation there. And so when you call them, you ask them if the property is still available, if this, whether they say yes or no, you ask them, would they be interested in selling? If they say no, then you ask them, do they have anything else they would like to sell? If they say no, just thank them for that time and tell them to, uh, if they can't keep your number, if anything changes, give you a call back. You move on to the next person. So you may say, hey, as I said, you're gonna call five people per day on that so so now you have you're doing the marketing and on top of you're doing the cold content this is if you want to do a deal in 30 days now now you, you're talking to a lot of people you're talking to a lot of people if you're doing this amount of marketing along with the cold contacts um so that's the number two is going to be the most important part in my opinion you know because it's all about numbers 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 you're just going to stumble in the deals if you talk to enough sellers, you just fall into deals, just fall into the in your lap. So assuming that you are talking to these people, it's all about negotiations at that point and negotiating great deals. Obviously, from your knowledge and training, you need to know what is a deal. You know, that's plenty of things that can be for sale and may appear to be a deal. But if you don't know, you don't know. But um, some people think, you know, the house is worth 75000 you get it for 70000 there's no money to be made. So these guys, these cash buyers are not in it for five or 10 grand. You know, you need to add a zero. And they're in it for, for some, some money. Uh, they want 20, 30, 40% on the, on the return on their money. So, um, so uh, negotiating with the seller. And I just keep it simple for my students when working with them and they get into a pattern and some of their just natural instincts will take over and they can uh, figure out better ways of doing it than even than I can, obviously. 
but you just collect the information. You ask the question, paying all cash and closing quickly. What's the least amount you'll accept? Wait on the response. Ask them, is that the best they can do? Whatever they say, ask them again, is that the best you can do? And boom, if you're forced into making an offer, you want to make an offer that you're, um, um, you're, you're, you're embarrassed about. You want to make an offer that you're just, just, just shame, uh, that, that you're embarrassed about. So, um, so negotiating with the seller, entertaining those calls is huge. All right. Now what I like to do is, and I don't waste time on it. It's rare that I go out and view a property. If the numbers don't work over the phone, if the numbers work over the, if the, if the numbers, if the numbers don't work over the phone, I'm not going to normally go out and look at it, but if they do, and most people that call you understand, you could easily receive a hundred calls. If you're doing a month uh, over a 30 day cycle, if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and only two or three of those are deals or four or five of those are deals, that's only two, three, four, five percent. But that may mean 15, 20, 25 thousand dollars in your pocket. All right. So but if it comes to a point where we're going to go out and look at the property, then I'm going to video with my smartphone, then upload to YouTube. And that makes it easy for you to market to cash buyers because who doesn't have a smartphone? People call you and they say, hey, about the house, blah, blah, blah. You know, what can I see it? I said, well, let me do this for you can drive by it. But let me just send you this video. And then if they're still interested after they look at the video, there's a high probability that number one, you're saving yourself time. But there's a high probability that there's still that there's a deal there to be had because they know what you're asking for. It. So use your technology. If you're not sure how to do that, you know, YouTube is your friend. Google is your friend. Go there and just do a search. How do I video with a smartphone? Most people don't know that the, how the, the right way to hold the phone, you know, you don't hold it um, vertical the way you talk on it, you hold it horizontal. And some phones are different. I know iPhone is just the way to do it, but you know, you test it before you go out. Don't get out there and try to figure it out. Once you get out there, try to, you, you test it um, and, and, and um, to, to, to see how it should work and appear on the screen because the worst thing you want to see on a YouTube video is you got all that video space and it's just a narrow because you held it vertical. So test test it before you go out and actually video a property. And plus, as I said, with my students, it helps me to see what you're seeing. If you video the property, send me the link, boom. But again, the main thing is that it saves you time, makes you uh, more, it helps you market your properties either to actual cash buyers, which allows you to build a cash buyers list. So all right, number four. Once you do have a property on the contract, you negotiated a great deal, it's time to market to cash buyers. Now, um, your market will tell you if you have a deal or not, if you're doing an effective, uh, effective um, uh, being effective in your marketing and advertising a property. If you're receiving calls on a property and people are going out to see it and you're getting offers lower than what you're, they're, they're telling you, you didn't get it cheap enough. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just that simple. You didn't get it cheap enough. If you're getting calls and people are going out to see it and they're making offers, you're close. You're close. It's going to probably be a lesson learned, uh, but you, you didn't get it cheap enough. But if you did get it cheap enough, you know, they will beg you not to show it to someone else. So when people say, well, I don't have any buyers, that's why you don't need any buyers. Because if you advertise a great deal, the buyers will be begging you for that deal. And to tell fake buyers from real buyers, real buyers, real buyers, are want, the, 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 the conversation that you want to have with them is you, once you agree upon a price is, you know, how fast, once you ask them how fast can you close, and their response should be as soon as we can get a clear title. That, that's 10 days or less, pretty much anywhere in the country. That should be 10 days or less. Sometimes the title may take longer because it's things out of your control. But that's the conversation. When they start talking about, well, I need 30 days. No, nah, you can't do that. You, you just can't do it. Because you only have 30 days in most cases. Even if, even if you had 60 days, if, somebody, if a buyer is saying they need 30 days cash, real buyers don't talk that way. They talk in the sense, as soon as we can get a clear title, let's do it. That, that's it. That's the only thing that you want to hear. That's, that's it, period. All right, so moving on to number five. After you have your seller, have your buyer in place for the deal, both under contract, then it's time to close. Now, what depending on what state you're in, the state I'm in, we can use title companies and our clothing attorneys to close our deals. 
what you uh, people say well i don't have anyone to close my deal should i have that first before i even get started no because in most cases your buyers are going to dictate that and so you you would just piggyback off that buyer's relationship with a closing attorney or title company even if they've never done a deal before if they if the buyer wants to do it it's rare they're going to reject the, the opportunity and i've had that to happen to me recently but it's very few times it's happened happened to me and so and then if they don't close there's plenty of companies that will close it once you have a buyer in silicon they want the, the fee that's easy money for them a cash translate a trans a cash transaction uh is is a 15 minute closing that's that's a, that's an easy 500 to a thousand dollar in a closing fee as for the closing attorney so you would just piggyback off the buyer's uh relationship and then in the future if you need a closing attorney or title company you can go back to them even if that buyer is not involved because now they know who you are and they know how you conduct business. All right. So um, that, that breaks it down. So let's just recap. Uh, number one, knowledge and understanding of the process. Number two, you go hard on your marketing. Uh, that's with paid marketing or just cold contacts, contacting landlords and for sale by owners. Uh, your clock starts at that, in that, in that part of uh, the five steps during uh, number two. Uh, after you start, with, because you are doing an effective job of marketing, then you start dealing directly with sellers. And that's where your negotiations come in and understanding what's a great deal and what's not a, a great deal, because that's what it's going to boil down to once you go to number four is marketing to your cash buyers. So once you have a buyer in place, you got a seller in place, obviously, you set up a closing and that's where you make the five to 10 grand. Obviously, you can make more, maybe sometimes less, but. Uh, that's a that's a ballpark number for most markets. Some markets you can get a lot higher. Like my student uh, in Memphis, uh, like I say, twenty five thousand dollars the other day. Boom. So I hope the information was helpful. Take it, run with it. I wanted to remind you of my two hundred plus videos that I have for free on my YouTube channel. Just simply go to YouTube, do a search for the Flip Man. You should be able to access my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications. If you're on Facebook right now, just simply tap the button that says watch more and it'll take you to my channel. If you're interested in my courses and coaching, don't forget you can call or text me at 205-492-3425. Or you can also access it at flipman.net. If you want a free copy of the contract that I've used for more than 14 years as the date of this video, simply text the word contract to 313131. That's contract to 313131. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram at flipman.net. Follow me on Twitter, The Flipman, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're on YouTube, turn on the notifications so you are alerted when new videos are posted and if I actually go live on YouTube. If you need a coach to come to your city, get you going in your actual market, I do offer that, training and coaching in your city. Call or text me for pricing. I answer the phone. I return text myself. If you're interested in commercial real estate, low competition, you can do it sitting virtually at your lap laptop. Sea of opportunity because you're dealing with the entire country. Your cash or credit won't matter. And obviously, you know, there are big fat paydays. Just simply go to flipthisbuilding.com. If you need a private money list, privatemoneylist.net. It speaks for itself. If you need proof of funds, you're dealing with real estate agents or brokers. It's the only way they're going to take you serious. I actually use these proof of funds on a daily basis, submitting offers on high six-figure, seven-figure deals, these same proof of funds. So realpof.com if you need it. Thanks, and I'll see you on the flip side.